going to be probably one of the most awkward video blogs that I do because the Irish girl got really bad sunburn. Um, being outside for like 40 minutes or so. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, so I sent out a message the other day asking everybody, well, what do you want me to make my last video blog about? And by last video blog, I meant just um, because my semester for summer is starting and I don't think I'm going to have the time to dedicate uh, to doing blogs and video blogs about my personal life and things that I think are cool. So I was just like, what does everybody want it to be about? And people <laughs> overwhelmingly said baseball. So um, in... My effort to update you on baseball, I guess I will just say that I had to change the name of my fantasy baseball team, the Alex Cobb. It could no longer be Corn on the Cobb. It is now No More Cobb because I picked up Matt Moore when I dropped Alex Cobb because Matt will be coming back in a couple of months. Like a month and a half maybe actually, hopefully. <laughs> Anyway, Rays are in second place right now. I think we're two, two and a half games back from the Yankees. So go Rays. Um, moving on. So as most of you probably saw, um, I finished second runner up at the Miss Florida United States pageant. And I was extremely grateful for that opportunity. I had such a fun time. I met a lot of great women from across the state who had really interesting stories to share. And so it was a really great weekend. I've always wanted to do kind of like the Pearl Harbor theme thing where you have like the funky old hairdo um, and the vintage clothing. I've always wanted to do like a photo shoot like that and we actually had the opportunity to do a retro swim photo shoot during the pageant weekend. So I was over the moon with being able to do that. It was on Flagler Beach which is absolutely stunning. It is on the Atlantic so waking up every morning, I got to see a beautiful sunrise and even falling asleep at night. It sounds kind of corny, but I would listen to the ocean waves because that was just really relaxing to me. And being on the Gulf, I don't really have that. Um, I'm sure there's some areas on the Gulf that are like that. But anyway, uh, yeah, so the pageant was really awesome. I was really proud of myself. And although I won't get to you know, have a platform to, you know, share the things that are important to me. Um, it was still really cool to get to talk to people about the things that I am passionate about, and I'm still going to be able to do them through my blog and in my community, but it would have also been really cool to have had that extra mouthpiece to um, help me get that message out there. <laughs> Last weekend, I actually also was very stoked to be able to see the boy band O-Town and a funny story about that is P.S. Riley please don't kill me um, Riley and I met because we were fans of O-Town back in like the AOL days of like dial-up internet like in 99 or 2000 sometime around then so we've been friends for like half of our lives pretty much um, so if you didn't know that by now you know now uh, so it was the first time we actually got to see the band together which is kind of surprising right um, but they have reunited after 12 ish years and so the concert was really great um, we got to meet the band and we got to attend the sound check and it was just a really neat experience, especially since we met because of our love of O-Town. <laughs> um, so yeah, sorry. Sorry, we got through our awkward teenage years together. And that's what friends are for, right? Listening to good music and helping you get through your awkward teenage years. Yeah, sounds about I right. I try to keep these video blogs short, but you know I tend to ramble sometimes. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great week, weekend, month, however long it is till I see you next time. <laughs> Bye.